tradition, the lighting of the Christmas tree at Faneuil Hall. And as always, WBZ is proud to bring you the fun and excitement. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse is on hand for all of it. And Mike, we know there were some famous faces down there as well, in addition to you, of course. <laughs> Liam, I did see uh, David Wade and Lisa Hughes, if that's who you're talking about. The mayor was here. The governor was here. I even spotted Wally. There was also a huge crowd filled with families kicking off the holiday season. The with miles of holly. It's officially the holiday season at Faneuil Hall. The Christmas music is fabulous when they, when they get the Christmas music going. Three, two, one. The Christmas lighting happening just minutes ago over on WBZ TV. Being around the atmosphere more than anything else, I mean, you know, tree lighting, everybody's out here shopping, just, just the atmosphere in general, I think. The lighting of the city's largest Christmas tree is a tradition for many families. It's the big lighting of the tree. Um, the lights are great, the music's great, everything's great. I mean, it's Daniel Hall, it's Boston. Where else would you want to be? And it's not pouring, it's not freezing. Joyce and Ronald Meese enjoyed the lighting so much last year, they came back for more. They're from Pittsburgh and are cutting it close, catching their flight tonight just to see the lights turn on. We liked seeing the tree out, how it danced to the music. It was great. It's just beautiful, just a, a real good feeling. Real good feeling. And back out live, here's another look at the tree. There are still a lot of folks down here taking pictures and enjoying this beautiful night here. You can catch the light show here at Faneuil Hall from now until January 4th. It starts at 4.30 each day, runs every half hour until 10 o'clock. That's the Blink Light Show. We're live in Faneuil Hall tonight. I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. Such a beautiful sight down yeah. there. Mike LaCrosse, thank you very much.